Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We're in my kitchen today. I am gonna be going grocery shopping for the week. Today is the first Monday of a brand new year. Happy 2023. So happy you guys are here. I'm so happy to be back. You guys saw my last couple few videos. You know, I was gone from YouTube for seven months. Thought I was totally done and I'm back. That time off was much needed and I really was able to recenter, refocus, and realize that creating content, making videos for you guys is actually what I love to do. Um, I was just completely and totally burnt out and going through a bunch of stuff and <sighs> we're back. So anyways, I made my grocery list last night and this morning I worked on that. So that's ready to go, but I wanna get the fridge and the pantry cleaned out before we go get new groceries to put in there. The fridge needs to be wiped out really bad after hosting Thanksgiving and Christmas and just not cleaning it out in months needs to be done. My husband actually just left to go to Costco to pick up a few things. And so I'm gonna work on cleaning out the fridge while he's gone doing that. And then I'm gonna go do like the full grocery shopping once he gets back. So for now, let's go ahead and get into cleaning that out. I also want to move the microwave over to this corner here and move my Nespresso over here and have like a little coffee corner. Um, my counters are pretty like bare minimum now. We don't really have a whole lot out. So we used to have it in the corner and I swapped these and I'm not really loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the corner like diagonal and then make my little coffee corner. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll do the fridge. After I move the microwave and my Nespresso out of the way, I'm just using my Jaws granite cleaner to wipe down this whole counter in this corner. Um, these counters, I love them so much. I think they're beautiful granite countertops, um, but they hide everything. Like It's actually hard to know when our counters are dirty unless the light hits them just the right way. So I'm just wiping down everything for good measure, even the plug-in covers because it gets really dusty. When I very first got my Nespresso machine, I got this little wooden cutting board from Home Goods to put it on. And then I put my Nespresso away for a while and I wasn't using it at all. And then I discovered the pods specifically for iced coffee and now I'm in love. I don't have an iced coffee and an espresso coffee every single day, um, but maybe like three times a week or so. And then on the weekends, Donnie usually likes me to make him an iced coffee. So I got my little coffee area set up now. All right, this is what we've got. Got my coffee pods in there, my syrups, and my caramel drizzle. So that's how we have it for now. Our little banana bowl, which I need to get bananas today. <laughs> and then I keep onions and like garlic and whatever up here, but we just have onions right now. So that's that and uh, the microwave. Now we have the task of emptying out the fridge. I actually did not have a whole lot in here because I needed to get groceries so bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take every single thing out of the fridge and throw away things that are empty or almost empty and crusty or whatever expired um, and just get rid of whatever I need to get rid of and organize things on the counter um, so we can get ready to wash out the refrigerator. And when you guys see after I take like all the shelves and the drawers and everything out, like I take every single piece of the inside of this fridge out, you are gonna die when you see the bottom of the fridge. I don't think, I don't think I've ever taken out, like fully taken out like the bottom drawer in this fridge and I did this time and I was shocked and appalled at the amount of like my hair, my daughter's hair, dog hair. <laughs> dust just nasty all on the bottom of the fridge so if you've never taken out like every single piece of the inside of your fridge I'm telling you right now this is your sign you need to do it because it's gonna be so gross and now I know that I need to do this like 
probably every few months because just wait here this is bad enough like the bottom of the drawers are bad enough but just hold tight getting the last couple shelves out of this fridge and now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. It is so gross. Like I was telling you guys, there's literally hair in here. Not sure how it gets underneath the drawers in the bottom of the fridge, but this is just how it is, I guess. Everything is dusty and nasty and needs to be wiped down. So I'm just giving you a quick little overview of what everything is looking like. I have everything out on my counters, thrown in the sink. And I'm gonna get to work scrubbing out the inside of the fridge first and then we're gonna wash the drawers and the shelves and everything like that so I'm just using some Clorox bleach cleaner I felt like it was necessary <laughs> for this project to use the bleach I just it was so gross I'm like okay we're gonna bust out the big guns for this one and we're gonna use the Clorox so I just sprayed that in there and I was going to typically when I like do a clean out of the fridge drawers if there's any like crumbs and stuff I vacuum them out first but it was pretty wet in here like the condensation from having the door open so much so I didn't want to get the inside of the vacuum wet so I just sprayed it down and I'm just using paper towels so I can just toss them out um, easily and I'm just scrubbing everything down in here making sure I get every little last crumb and hair and smudge making it smell so good and I'm getting it sparkling clean in here. Now it's time to move on washing all of the shelves and the drawers and the little cubbies that go inside the fridge. So I'm just using my Dawn Power Wash. I got everything wet that's in the sink right now. Sprayed it down with the Dawn Power Wash. I had to change into a t-shirt because I was getting hot wearing a sweatshirt while scrubbing all this stuff down. But I'm just using some hot water, the Dawn Power Wash, and I like to use a bottle brush on a couple different things when I clean in my sink. So. This stuff, I don't want to use like a, a really rough like scrubber brush or sponge just because I don't want the plastic to get scratched up. Um, so I'm just using this bottle brush. I also like to use this on like the grates when I clean my stove top with a gas stove. So like the grates, I'll take them off and put them in the sink, spray them with the Dawn Power Wash and then I use the bottle brush on that too because I don't want it to get like ruined. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but the bottle brush works really good for scrubbing things down like this. So I actually did not film every single piece because it's really just redundant content, I think. But isn't all cleaning, isn't all cleaning redundant content? <laughs> um, I just, I didn't film scrubbing every single thing, but this is so satisfying to me watching this back like sped up it this took me so long like a couple of hours to empty out the fridge scrub everything down um, but it's so satisfying to like see the project done like it's just one of those tasks that you that you don't want to do it's just not a fun task to deep clean stuff at least for me it's not I'm sure some of you guys can relate but once it's done it's just like yes I did that it's so nice and clean and enjoyable now and it's like this sense of relief and like pride you know what I mean let me know if you guys feel the same way um, but I'm just 
using the Dawn Power Wash, the bottle brush, and hot water to scrub everything down. Everything is finally washed and clean and out to dry. So everything's been sitting out kind of drip drying while I'm washing everything else. And now I'm just gonna take a kitchen towel and dry everything off so I can get the fridge all put back together. That's the only way to get that high. that our fridge has these adjustable shelves so you can organize them or install them however you want them to be because I find myself kind of switching things up every time I do this fridge clean out and putting the shelves in differently each time so I'm curious to know if you guys do the same thing if you have a fridge like that if you change it up so you can like organize your fridge a different way there's only a few ways you can really do it in here to make it work but I love that feature and I also love how freaking clean I got this fridge. It literally looks brand new on the inside. Such a good feeling. And now it's time to put everything back in. Laying on the grass, I close my eyes. Play my guitar to my fingers and numb. I always try to let my spirit fly. So when we started this video, I had told you guys that Donnie was going to Costco to get a few things from there while I was working on cleaning everything out. So he actually just got back from Costco right when I was done, finished like cleaning everything out and washing everything. So he had just gotten a few things, um, milk and like dog food and some of that um, almond dip. It's called bitchin' sauce. We love to use that on like chicken wraps and um, sandwiches and it's just really good. Um, I think that was all he, oh no, and then he also got, um, it's in the freezer, so you guys aren't going to see it in this video, but this frozen chicken breast, it's like lightly breaded, the brand is called Just Bear, and they're chicken breasts, but um, they're frozen, and we use those to make spicy chicken sandwiches, they are so good, but I've only been able to find that brand just at Costco, so he had a few things that he went and got, so I'm getting that stuff put in the fridge along with everything else. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. All right, I 
right, I got everything back in the fridge, threw away what was bad, and got everything organized. Basically how it was, switched some things up just a little bit, but now I am gonna go grocery shopping and get the rest of the stuff that we need. We've got room, let's go. Safeway app and clipped a bunch of coupons on there for stuff that I need to get. So if you shop at Safeway, I definitely recommend using the Safeway app because there's like the for you deals and it like goes off of things that you buy regularly and then other stuff too, but like I mean, it's a really good way to save on your groceries. Um, and then also you get fuel points for shopping at Safeway. So then, and then there's like a gas station here too. So then when I get gas, um, after I've gotten groceries like one or two times and I save gas too. And right now that's super helpful. So, um, here's my grocery list that we have. It's rather long today cause I have not gone like legit grocery shopping in like two weeks. Um, but my dinner plan. So today's Monday, I'm going to make spaghetti and garlic toast. I have some homemade bread dough rising today so I'll make that loaf tonight um, tomorrow I'm gonna make Mississippi roast with mashed potatoes and then Wednesday I'm gonna make chicken quesadillas uh, Thursday I'm gonna make chicken pot pie which I think I already have everything for that except for biscuits um, Friday we're gonna do homemade pizza night Saturday I'm gonna make chicken tortellini which I found the recipe on TikTok so that's a place where I there's a guy sitting in the car parked directly in front of me watching me. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you do this job. <laughs> it's still awkward. Anyways, um, found I've been finding recipes on TikTok and just saving them and then going back and referring to them when I'm cooking. So chicken tortellini and I'm gonna do like pan fried uh, Brussels sprouts, super good. And then Sunday we'll do steaks and Caesar salad. That's like my favorite meal ever and Donnie always makes it. So um, I'm not gonna buy the steaks today or the salad today. That's just like my dinner plan I have. So I'll fill out my little dinner menu at home. Um, and he'll go buy, like he picks out the steaks and makes that meal so he'll do that probably on Sunday like right before he makes it so just want to tell you guys what's for dinner this week and then you'll see me fill out my, my uh, menu at home but I've got my grocery list I got my coupons on my phone and I have a pen in here to I have like a I gotta cross it off while I'm shopping type of girl so we have that I've got my bags here you gotta either have your own bags in Oregon or you have to pay five cents per bag that you get from the grocery store and we're not doing that. So, got my baggies, got my purse, and it's raining and 38 degrees, so not my favorite, but let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> I just got back. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my <laughs> Donnie's riding Berkeley's scooter around the house. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my receipt. So I was telling you guys that I went to Safeway and I have the Safeway app. So I did save like $71. Let's see, $71.53 is what I saved with the Safeway app and like the coupons, but it was still $375.96 with those coupons. And we don't even have sales tax in Oregon. So that's just like what everything costs. Um, and it's honestly like my cart was full. Don't get me wrong, but it's just crazy. So everything's out on the counters. I didn't have enough bags with me. I didn't realize, I really didn't realize how much, like how big of a grocery shopping trip this was gonna be. So I only took three small bags with me. So I ended up having to buy three bags, which is an extra 15 cents. But um, let me show you my receipt here. 
So pretty much every single thing had like a discount on it. Um, either like just like your member price for like being a Safeway um, member with like the app or <laughs> Jasper <laughs> wants his dinner. You guys hear him? Jasper, where is he? Oh. Jasper, you want some food? Does dad need to feed you? Yes, feed <laughs> it's dinner time for him. Well, oh mom, I mean it's 4.30. Anyways, you can see like regular price, member savings, plus the for you, like the OxyClean for example. Regularly seven, oh regularly eleven ninety nine. Fifty cent off just for like having a phone number, you know, member with Safeway. But then the for you on the app, I clipped a coupon that was three ninety off, so it was only seven fifty nine instead of eleven ninety nine. So you see how that works. So, so right here you can see my savings, seventy one sixty three. So my member savings forty three thirty four. My for you savings seventeen oh one. What is basket savings? Do you know? Mm -mm. Huh. Ten dollars. Where does it say that? Oh, right About, there. yeah. Grocery reward savings. Yes. $1.18. Anyways, 16% savings. And there's the total. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I'm going to get all this unpacked and then I will give you a haul. Got everything out on the counter, so I'm just gonna go through quickly and show you what I got. Got some OxyClean, I need to refill that in the laundry room. Gatorade Zero for the kids' lunches. Pretzels. I've never had these butter popcorn rice cakes, but I love having popcorn at night. Um, and I love rice cakes. They're a little bit healthier, so <laughs> I got some of those. And then these chocolate rice cakes are my favorite with some peanut butter on them and like sliced up banana. Got some sourdough English muffins, goldfish packets for the kids' lunches, um, some of these cherry mixed fruit cups, some shredded carrots. Got two boxes of mac and cheese, the family size. And then I got two different kinds of rat or tortillas, and this is a wrap I mean basically the same thing but I just wanted to try two different kinds I'm gonna make quesadillas one night pizza sauce for homemade pizza night these are the kids favorite Z bars the green ones and Donnie's favorite too um, there's a bunch of different flavors but this is their favorite flavor got some maple and brown sugar oatmeal two boxes of these chewy bars these are also the kids favorite and then this is the kind of popcorn that I like the skinny pop butter popcorn so I got some of that I got some pepperoncinis for Mississippi roast some more of this the label is like weird but more of this um, buffalo sauce for buffalo chicken sandwiches um, some more peanut butter because we are almost out some lettuce um, some oh wait grapes look at how massive these grapes are that's actually kind of a small one. They are huge. Got some grapes. This big giant bag of Mexican style cheese. We'll use this for quesadillas, pizza, all sorts of stuff. 
Um, these are the pizza crusts that I get for the kids. It comes in a three pack, so it's perfect. And then they just put the sauce and whatever toppings they want on there. So it's fun when we do homemade pizza night because they get to like build their own pizza. And then this one, the thin and crispy crust for me and Donnie, it comes with two. So we'll make like a couple and then there will be leftovers also. And then I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, some pepperoni, some little oranges, some pink lady apples, three things of spaghetti sauce. I'm making spaghetti tonight, so I needed one jar because I already have one jar up in the pantry. Um, and then I got two more just to have on hand. And then I got these garlic and herb potatoes to make to go with Mississippi roast tomorrow night. I got some of these uh, little individual caramel dips for dipping sliced apples in. I got three packages of boneless skinless chicken thighs and three packs of blueberries, four packs of strawberries. So I'll get those washed and cut up and put into mason jars and into the fridge. And then um, some juice boxes for the kids' lunches, tomatoes for my lunches, avocado for my lunches. And then I got this um, chuck roast for Mississippi roast. And we've got more stuff over here. So got these biscuits to go on top when I make chicken pot pie. I need a mascara and they didn't have the one that I like love which is the Lash Paradise but I also really like this one and I haven't used it in ages so I grabbed that. I really need to get back to making the kids mini muffins because it's way more cost effective <laughs> but um, I got some of the birthday or the party cake muffins just to have for snacks and whatever this week but I am going to start making their muffins again. Um, I got this mozzarella ravioli. I was going to do tortellini but I decided to do the ravioli instead and it will I'm going to freeze this um, for the recipe it calls for frozen. So I'm just going to freeze this and it'll go good with the recipe anyways. Got some bagel bites, some Italian pork sausage, baby bell cheese, sour cream. I love the squeeze sour cream the best. Got some shredded Parmesan thing of this holy guacamole. Um, onion soup mix. I needed a packet of this for the Mississippi roast. Some Lucky Charms. Some Scooby Snacks and Cheez-Its for the kids' lunches. Got two things of taco seasoning. Some Quest Bars. I got two packs of eggs. Um, I got two things of bananas. And then some Juicy Burst fruit snacks. So that is everything. Now we need to get everything put away. my last video I asked you guys what your preference was if you liked a chit chatty video like when there's a voiceover like in a cleaning video or something or if you just liked the music to play or if you just liked you know like this is what I'm doing and now this is what I'm doing like just popping in every once in a while and I feel like the majority of you said popping in to say what you're doing is really helpful because I know a lot of people put these types of videos on your TV while you're getting your chores done around the house or doing like a, a deep clean or whatever. Folding laundry, I love putting on something to watch when I have a ton of laundry to do, which actually sitting right in front of me, <laughs> I'm sitting on my bed while I'm filming this or doing this voiceover right now and I have a massive pile of laundry that I have to fold because I did like four loads of laundry earlier today. So I'm going to have to find me a good motivational video to watch while I'm folding laundry. Um, but most of you said you liked the chit chat or like just checking in to say what you're doing. So definitely keeping that in mind whenever I'm doing these videos. Can't get enough. I trap my 
So it is January 12th today when I am doing this voiceover. I filmed this on like the first Monday of January, so it was at like January 2nd, I want to say. Um, but I've had a very busy couple of weeks just with life and kids and all of that. And I actually worked on editing. I edited this whole video over the weekend. Um, and then now today is Thursday and I'm finally able to do the voiceover but I'm definitely doing it that way and not putting any pressure on myself to like hurry and get a video out or anything like that just to like ease back into doing YouTube videos and I appreciate you guys so much being here and being so kind like your comments have honestly melted the world to me um, and it's been really fun and enjoyable to check comments and like interact with you guys and like your comments and stuff like that um, so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for that and just being so awesome in this like comeback season for me it's been really enjoyable which is important and awesome um, so now anyways here I am just prepping the fruit I am using this thieves fruit and veggie cleaner it lasts so long I don't sell young living or anything like that but I use the thieves cleaner and the thieves fruit and veggie wash and like hand soap and stuff like that around the house so I just do a cap full of that and then water and let those soak for like five to ten minutes and then we will get everything prepped I just dump it into this strainer rinse it off and then I like to do the strawberries in mason jars with lids and it really does seem to help the strawberries last longer and stay fresh I mean Lasting a long time in this house is not definitely not really necessary because my kids plow through these strawberries like <laughs> There's no tomorrow, but keeping the strawberries fresh is definitely important and it works out really well this way So um, I just cut the top of the strawberry off and then half the strawberry and stick them in the mason jar Get as many in there as I can put the lid on and into the fridge they go I usually buy four of the smaller containers of strawberries and it's perfect for four mason jars um, and when I prep them like this, my kids are all old enough that they will just go in the fridge and like grab a snack or go in the pantry and grab a snack for themselves. Um, my kids are 11, 10, and 6. Actually, my 11-year-old is going to be 12 in like two months. It's so crazy. My kids are all like big kids now. I don't have a toddler. I don't have babies. It's definitely a totally different season of life. But Anyways, what I was getting at with that is having all of the fruit like prepped, washed, like ready to go. They can just go in and grab, you know, they get a little bowl out of the cabinet and then put a few strawberries and blueberries and grapes in there and they've got a, a little snack. So um, it's super helpful to have everything prepped. And even if you have little kids, um, having it just like prepped and ready to go, it makes it so much easier when it's like comes time for uh lunchtime. Excuse me, I'm like stuttering over my words. When it comes time for lunchtime, it's easy to just like prep their protein or whatever and then stick a few strawberries on the side and it's already done it's not like another task that you have to do so it's kind of a lot of work when you get groceries to like prep all of it but it is so nice to just have it all done already i also have this um container linked to my amazon shop it came in a set of like three different sizes and this one is perfect for grapes and these massive grapes that I got um, and there's also another one that I'll use for blueberries and then there's an even smaller one that I usually use for uh, raspberries because we don't buy like a ton of raspberries at one time you know they come in those like little cartons um, but they're the perfect size for fruit so if you guys don't have any containers like that for prepping your fruit I have them linked in my Amazon shop under the kitchen section Oh my gosh we are finally done this was such a big project it really like it doesn't seem like it's gonna be this massive project to undertake just to deep clean your fridge but let me tell you it is it's a big project especially when you want things to be like organized and neat and pretty I love that not necessary but I love it so it's a big project to clean everything but it feels so good to be done all right, you guys are in the fridge because I'm using the light in here to end this video because it's dark outside and the lighting in the kitchen is 
not the greatest right now. So um, that's gonna be it for this video. What a process. The fridge clean out turned into like an all day thing, but it needed to be done. So I'm glad we got that done. Um, it's nice and beautiful and organized now. And um, we're ready for the week. Even though today's Monday, we're ready for the week, you know? So now I'm gonna go ahead and go make dinner. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm happy to be back. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching and being subscribed to my channel and hanging in there with me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.